Sure. Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, I'm not a magician. Oh, I'm just joking. You really don't? Good afternoon. Well, hello there. How you been? Um, I'm okay, but my giraffe is not. Fix him. Is it, is it a he or is she? It's a he. I it's think. a he. Okay. Yeah. He needs a new frame. It's okay. Future and his problem. New frames, new friends. Anyway. <laughs> are you prepared for your mind to be blown? Yes, very much so. My mind is available for blowing. Strap yourself in. Click, click. You know, Excel always been unfriendly to Power Automate. You want to export to Excel, you want to do anything, and it's painful. Yeah. And on the other hand, it... how many times were you cursing Power Automate when you need to, you know, add a couple numbers or perhaps run <laughs> something that <laughs> looks like Excel formula. And we always said, you know, you know Excel, you, you're going to be at home with Power Automate. Well, you're not because your Excel is missing. The stuff that you like about Excel is missing. You'll be so, at home apart from there's half the things you can't do that you could do before. You know, it's yeah. like getting a small house. <laughs> oh, exactly. So here was the other day. Browsing Graph Explorer, as you do on Monday night. As you do, as normal you do. day in the life of George. I see this word Excel, and I remember someone mentioned to me that you can do some stuff in Excel with Graph. Uh, and it was regarding to creating ranges and things like that. I said, oh, that's interesting. Let me explore that. So I started going, and it's like, okay, create session. That's fair enough. Worksheets and workbook, fair enough. Add a new worksheet. Wait a minute. Calculate loan payment. Snazzy. That's a bit um, niche, very niche. No, that's a function in Excel. So I'll click on that straight away. And wait, there's actually I... a calculate loan payment function in Excel. That's for another day. Sorry, carry on. So the PMT, loan repayments. Okay. <laughs> PMT means something else in my world. <laughs> I know, but uh, in Excel, word, it means loan repayments. Before we jump, we need an Excel file where this stuff is going to be run. So I created a small file. Guess what's inside of Books of Books? Magic and unicorns. Nothing. In a it's, snowstorm. It's, it's empty. Let's go to our apps, Flow, or we can go to flow.microsoft.com. Well, let's create a new flow. And you mentioned to me, because I did ask you beforehand, what is your favorite function? And you said it's proper. 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 Mind blown? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, mind blowing. Make sure you include the word mind. All good. Uh, we That's the name. Yeah. So let's go and have a look at the function proper. Here's documentation. I'll search proper. <laughs> good luck searching for proper. Here's your function. Takes text. Mm -hmm and returns proper form of the text. So I've got the blank workbook. It doesn't have to be empty, but uh, it needs to be there. And I have a function. So now I go next step, and we are going to use Office 365 Group Connector. I know it sounds- Of course. Odd. Of course, yeah. It sounds odd. The reason why we're using that is that we can send a HTTP request to Graph. That's all I need. But authentication mm -hmm. is already taken care of. I could have used mm -hmm. uh, HTTP request and I had to authenticate and all this sort of stuff. In this connector in Office 365 group, I can send requests and it's already authenticated as part of connecting. It knows who I am, so it's fine. Okay. And there's send HTTP request. So I'm selecting that. And it's very simple. It says, what do you want to do? What, how you want to send it? What do you want to send it? And that's it. Right. I'd say very simple, but that to me, I go, oh, what do I give it? Let me just go ahead and uh, paste the entire URL and I'll break it down for you. So the URL is quite simple. So this part, this is standard. Mm -hmm. It just points me to my OneDrive. This part is also standard. It says slash workbook slash functions slash proper. That's the name of the function, obviously, the last bit. 
Okay. This one is just the pointer to a workbook that we created earlier. So it says, and it's a standard one. So instead of ID, I figured out the way to refer it by name. So it's slash root, column, slash, workbook name, column, slash. Very easy. So if you oh. have folders, you'll have a folder path to your workbook. If it lives mm -hmm. somewhere, not at the root. Now the method is post and we need a body. And the body is, this is where it gets interesting. Text, I'll put nothing at the moment. Text is the name of the parameter. So if you take a look at that Excel function, it says proper text. How do you know that? Why do I know to put text? That's very easy. You see this part says parameters. Each uh -huh. parameter will have a name of the parameter. It will list like PV, principal value of uh, uh -huh. investment. It has a bunch of parameters called rate, periods, payments, future value, type. These are the names you need to know. Isn't it this also at the top in the brackets on the name? Yes, it could be a little bit more complicated than that, like dot, dot, dot values. That's a range or oh, array. There could be a mismatch in the names if it includes underscores and things like that. So okay. better take the official name. Yes, it should be here. Confirm it here and play around and test. Killing me. Yeah, at least you spelled my name right there. That's okay. Good work. Uh, before I save it, I'll include our favorite step, which is... Sending an email. Sending an email. Buddy, and then I know there will be something called value. And it should be... I like want to it. ask again, how do you know that? But I'm guessing... Because I've, I've done it before. And, and it's always it's... value? Yes. Gotcha. So now we can save and test manually, of course. You see, it's already connected. So it says, yeah, I'm going to connect as you to Office 365 Group. And I'm saying, fine. You do you, um, man. How fast was that? That was really quick. Here you oh, go. So satisfying. See? I like Excel. What I did, let me show you something else I created earlier. Never ending question. How many working days left till Christmas? I ask myself that every day. Excel has a great function called Workdays. Uh -huh. So assuming that counts Monday to Friday as Workdays, like a normal Plus holidays, holidays, if you want. Okay. I, I don't think we have any holidays left uh, between now and Christmas, but generally speaking, given two days. And it doesn't have underscores in the start date, unlike Excel. And here's the international version. Instead of dot, you've got underscore. Mm -hmm. So use these notations. And it's got start date, end date, and optional holiday. So you can provide an array of holidays to that function. So what I did, I got today in Excel, the days in Excel, the dates in Excel, it's a number of days since 31st December 1899, which is painful. So I decided not to calculate in Power Automate, but use Excel for that. Mm -hmm. So there's a function called today. So I call the function called Give me a today, right? Here's your function. Uh -huh. And I pass nothing. Then I say, Christmas, give me the date. Here's the function called date. And I pass it year, months, and day. Wait, okay. That's the date that you want to calculate up to. Yeah? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's enhance it. Day months i like your um non-us centric approach to dates by the way yeah. just putting that out there day month year beautiful so now i have json which is day month and year cool that calculates christmas and finally for the drum roll we have a function called network days mm -hmm. so if mm -hmm. we go ahead and you see that's christmas that's today. And we That's test. Today. Take a guess how many days we've got left till Christmas. What is it now? September 64. No, 61. Less than 61. 50 something. Oh, oh, that's upsetting. Why? 10 more than you expected. Oh. Hey, look at it this way. There are 10 more days you can earn some money.
to celebrate Yay. Christmas. Yay. More working days. More working days. I like how they assume it's five working days a week as well. I would like to contest. That has not happened for a while. But you can pass <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can pass holidays in here and calculate specific and international. You can pass. Uh, it will take into account international kind of uh, What's holidays. What's a holiday? Uh, it's, uh, it's a day when you don't work 24 hours, when you're allowed to sleep. That's I don't understand. So the bottom line is, you can take these Excel functions, any of these. So I can do more than just capitalize and count the number of working days till Christmas. You can calculate uh, Arabic numbers. As opposed to non-Arabic numbers. As opposed to Roman numbers. Why would you ever want Roman numbers? When you see a building and you see a Roman numbers on top of the building. Oh, so you convert the Roman to Arabic. Yes. I thought you were trying to convert the Arabic into Roman. I was like, and you can doing? do as well. This is called Arabic. And mm -hmm. there is another one called Roman. Roman? Yep. Fancy that. And there are a few forms for Roman in case you didn't know. <gasps> So we could do another calculation that counts the number of days till Christmas in Roman numerals. You can do geometry, you know, you can calculate averages. Obviously, some of the functions will take ranges. So you'd have to either populate range in Excel, which is exercise in itself, or pass it some other. I haven't played enough. I don't know how mm. to pass ranges yet. So, so you feel it in the, that workbook, you feel in the range, and then you do like average or something like that. Could be quite easy to do. You, you know, pass it an array somehow. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. But anyway, that's let's leave viewers something to do at home on their holidays. <laughs> Not working days. The whole range of Excel functions becomes available to you. And that's an, it's actually a good discovery because you don't have to have anything except. OneDrive for Business, empty Excel workbook, and Power Automate, and uh, it all becomes available through standard connector. Very cool. On that note, I hope you On found it note. useful. My mind has been blown. Thank you, sir. Well, until next time. Until next time. Feel me, your Don't forget ta 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 ta. I get nervous, I get nervous. Please, let's come back.